Hey there, YouTube. Clint Grimes here. Um, I wish I had a hip, slick, and cool place to make this video, but I don't. This is my garage, as you can plainly see, um, where I work out. I'm a regular guy. I'm kind of an old guy. I'm 59 years old today. Um, and what I like to uh, do is be straight up with you. Everybody's selling something on YouTube. I am too. But in doing that today, I want to give you fair warning and I want to help you protect your back. I have a, a degenerative spinal condition and it's my own fault. And I want to warn you how I got it, how you can keep from getting it, and show you an alternative. Okay. Um, the way I got my degenerative spinal condition was from squatting improperly. And so let me take you over here and show you what happened. Okay, here we are. Now, as a youngster, for whatever reason, I did half squats, probably because I could do really, really heavy weight and help me build up my quads. But you'll notice if you do a half squat, the loading is here on your shoulder area. You go down halfway 90 degrees and as you can see most of the load is going to be carried between the bottom of your buttocks and your shoulders. So imagine that 400 pounds or whatever but in that small area. What I should have been doing was full squats for all those years because when you squat in a full squat you squat a lot deeper you can't use as heavy weight, and you can see the loading is spread out from my shoulders all the way down to almost my ankles. So less weight, spread out more, and a less of a chance to damage your spine. Which I did. I damaged my spine. I am having surgery in February. Other than that, I'm in the shape of my life, but I have... A tingling sensation and leg pain between the bottom of my buttocks and my and the knees and the back of my legs both legs from doing this wrong well what I have behind me is a Yukon vertical leg press got rid of my squat rack and got this not because squats are bad for you if you do them properly, but because at uh, my age, I cannot risk any further damage to my spine, especially after getting surgery. Uh, this would also be a pretty good alternative to uh, for young people because the squat's very, very form intensive. And here you don't have to uh, be very, very form intensive because your form's locked in. So let me kind of show you how this thing operates. It's got nice, solid, thick padding down here where your back is. And behind it there, you can see there's a headrest there from my head. Here up top, a couple rods here that you can put your plates on. I think I got 320 on there right now, and you can use standard plates or you can use uh, Olympic down here. I've got the adapters here that you can put on if you want to use Olympic. But anyways, the point is, is that the form and your back are totally locked in so that you can squat deeply, except you're squatting upside down, uh, not engage any compression on your back, and the safety factor is really, really high because all you need to do is there's two pins in here. And when you're done, you stick the pins back in and take your legs out. Even if this thing came all the way down, you'd be able to get yourself out of it. Whereas if you lose, uh, lose balance with a heavy weight on your back, a heavy barbell on your back, you could be in a world of hurt. So I'm going to give you a few reps so you can see what it looks like. All you do is lay, lay way back, stick your head under, 
plenty of room for your feet. Push up, pull out the pins, and away you go. Done with your rat last rep. Stick the pins back in. Should go in nice and straight. Let go. And you're safe. So I'm not saying that squat. I'm just saying this is an alternative. Uh, if you use it from the beginning, your back will be completely safe. Um, I will put a link to this particular machine uh down here below in the description and one to a one that's a little bit cheaper um you get what you pay for but in both alternatives it's a, a safe alternative to uh squatting and certainly you do not want to do what i did all right that's it that's all uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for notification of future uh, videos about gym equipment. Thanks. Take care.